Hello everyone, Happy New Year and thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'll be talking about peritectic transformations. This was a video that was requested by one of my subscribers. I'll be using the iron iron carbide phase diagram for demonstration. So a peritectic reaction, a peritectic transformation, is quite similar to a eutectic or eutectic transformation. In a eutectic transformation you have liquid cooling down directly into a two-phase solid, solid solution but in the case of a tectoid reaction you have a solid which cools down into two solids but in the case of the peritectic reaction you have in this case the alpha liquid alpha plus liquid cooling down directly into the beta phase so you have a solid plus liquid cooling down into a solid or in the reverse, a solid heated up to form a solid plus a liquid. This is usually much slower than eutectic reactions, so you don't get a lamella or an alternating layer of, of atoms or alternating layers within the microstructure. And that, this is because the peritectic transformations are quite slow and because you have the new phase or the solid phase it, source, it serves as a boundary between the reactant phases so it's, it's then much slower then to convert from one solid phase plus liquid into a, into a beta phase so if you look at the iron iron carbide phase diagram or in steel at the top left corner that's where the peritectic transformation happens. So this is an enlarged view on the left. So you have the delta phase plus liquid, which at 0.16 weight percent of carbon and about 1,493 degrees Celsius. You have liquid plus delta cooling down directly into the gamma phase which is austenite so it happens between here to the to this point now the austenite or the gamma phase has a crystal structure like this which is face center cubic so which means that if you imagine the crystal structure as a cube you'd have a lattice point in the middle of each face and lattice points at each edge, at each point, or at each edge. But for the body center cubic, you have a lattice point in the center, and then you have these other lattice points on the edges. So this delta face is body center cubic plus the liquid, which is this region. And at 0.16 degrees Celsius, 0.16 weight percent of carbon, sorry, and 1,493 degrees Celsius, you have that conversion then directly into austenite, and that's the peritectic transformation. So that's a good reference for you. I'll leave that in the description box, and I hope that helps you to understand peritectic transformations. Thank you.